We smoke meats primarily for three reasons, for flavor, aroma, and appearance. Those are desirable attributes from smoke that we often like to see in meat products. Smoking meats is quite simple. It's either the result of burning wood and applying the smoke to the product or applying a, a manufactured liquid smoke. The end result or the end uh, desire is the same. The smoke is comprised of at least 400 compounds that we've identified, maybe well over a thousand, but we're only interested in three compounds that impact the meat and the traits that we're looking for. Those three compounds are acids, phenols, and carbonyls. The acids contribute to a forming of a protein skin, drying out of the product, and creating that, uh, that texture to the outer surface of a smoked product. The phenols in smoke contribute to the smoked flavor, and that's why we apply smoke, because it's really a different and unique flavor than a non-smoked product. Finally, the carbonyls, they impact our eyes. They make smoked uh, meats as attractive as we like to see them, and we often refer to an attractive mahogany color for a properly smoked meat. Now, we can apply smoke in two different methods. One, from the simple burning of sawdust or hardwood, or two, from the application of a manufactured smoke we call liquid smoke. The result is the same. Both products apply the acids and the phenols and the carbonyls and result in the same smoke appearance and flavor and aroma. The advantages of one over the other is that the natural hardwood smoke, you're burning wood. You have a fire and there's some romance associated with that and you see that oftentimes at weekend barbecue competitions. The advantage to liquid smoke is consistency. We reduce the biological variation we see in trees and hardwood and sawdust that comes from that biological system. It's more efficient, it's more consistent, and it's much more controllable.